because uh, you have like all of these top players that are just like helping a lot of like the less top players, and then you also have like everyone just helping out each other in the scenes, and it's like literally like crew battles, but just with everything, and it's so nice. But uh, all right, uh, taking the spacing. Yeah, no. Um, oh, I, I KD three is very good with spacing. It's just yeah. oh, very patient. Um, and you just don't really know, like, oh boy, it's caught. Oh no. Oh, right. going going for a standard combo, but KD three getting out. Oh my. Nice out of shield bear. And going right to ledge. Oh my god, that was such good spacing right there. But Horby being able to make it out. DBZ moments. And that nice up And the edge Yo. cancel. That was great. Yo, KD3, like, that's a, this is only one of his characters, though. Yeah. And. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Slightly mistimed that forward tilt. That's too bad. Uh, that, that was so unfortunate. And right now, Horby knocked off again. Oh. That, that neutral air. Just that was, the surprise neutral air. Yeah, no, I thought that was weird. He was kind of like. Trying to decide what he's gonna do is going on, off, on, off, and then he just kind of got hit. <laughs> you know, if he just pick, picked an option and covered something, it might have worked out better. Oh yeah, and KD3 uh, definitely doing those uh, uppies right. But speaking of uh, unfortunate, <laughs> uh, SDs are just never too good. And oh, all right, all right. Oh my God, That's yo the nice. waste. And now Corby knocked off again. But that neutral air has been saving Horby's mm -hmm. butt so many times, and he's using it so well. I love it. And let's see. All right, yo, back to the funk. Oh, oh goes no. for the Revan, not quite. And all right, standard uh, up smash thunder. Pretty good. Yeah, still a pretty close game. Let's see what happens here. Uh, oh, got read oh, on that one. But I know KD3 has been uh, doing that a lot. And Corby's now now a position to be like, wait a minute, he's doing that again. But uh, oh boy, oh my God, missing the grab. And yeah, there it is. I was gonna say he could probably get away with you know that straight aerial back on to the stage one more time before K3 is gonna get read on that, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. Oh my, he went too he went too close, and then Corby was able to get a nice hit. And Corby looking for the edge guard. Uh, the worst part about playing Pika, mm -hmm. especially as like slower characters like Kirby, is that you really just don't know like where Pika's gonna go. Yeah. Because Pika can literally like go high, he can go low, he can go for ledge. There's so much Pika can do when recovering, mm -hmm. and you just you can. It's like rock paper scissors, and you can only cover one option. Yeah. And also you have to you have to like throw out your move on set instead of go, right. uh, shoot. And so uh. Yeah, and it, uh, <laughs> the thing is like. Uh, if you have a move or an option that can get Pika low, that's about one time you can reliably predict where he's going. There's not too many options left to go. Also, Low can stage. we just appreciate that up B from Corby? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. Just going right outside. Oh my god. Got away with it again. Oh. No! Too low. Man. But but that like otherwise, that was a really yeah. good recovery. I really love that from Corby. Like, th there's a reason why this dude, like, there it is. star jet sometimes. Far enough but, away, no options. Hmm. The, the best way to take them out. And... Okay. Ooh. He waited for that up tilt, because he knew it would push, push off KD3. But, alright. Uh, yo, is Horby gonna... Hor Horby almost got the read there, and I'm yeah. just so mad. I'm so mad at Pikachu, but that's not gonna kill. Uh, the, the pile driver on the low platforms not gonna work. If he gets under the the top lat, I think right. I think it's gonna lead to a kill. But um, I'm not one of the people who knows the Kirby mm. throw percent kills. I think a hundred. I've heard someone say is one of them for Pika. I'm not sure if that's top or floor or what. But uh, but KD3 is definitely at kill throw percent. Yeah, and. I, I, there it is. All right. So, uh, here comes the coaching. Oh yeah. So KD3 has Hammer Heart and Online Legend, and then uh, Horby has Time Machine, who was just up a couple games ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. Time Machine's really good. I love his Falcon. 
Can you help me out? Is yeah. Time Machine, is that a new name? Yeah, DFX. It's DFX. Okay, I yeah. thought so. I, I, I was thrown off when people were talking about, like, yeah. Time Machine. This Time Machine guy sounds really good. I, I don't remember playing him. Yeah, uh, he, he. it's just a new thing that he's done since Apex. Yeah. And uh, I think it, I, I like the tag. Mm hmm because I remember uh, watching Apex, and it's like, oh, NTA, DFX, CTG. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why, why are there so many three-letter names? But, uh, hmm. but the question is, has he gone into the future and seen the ending? Will, <laughs> will, will, will he help Horby bring it back? Will Horby bring it back? Um, and KD3 is still staying Pika, which is a respectable choice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, why, why fix what's not broken? Exactly. And then also, uh, you yourself know the horrors of uh, Kirby Puff. Yes. And, uh, mm. But, ooh, platform traps. Nice. That, that was good stuff. I, I like that. Yeah. But, like, especially the weight and getting the hitbox on the other side of Pika. And doing that, he prevented uh, K, uh, K3 from uh, falling off and basically getting away for free. Yeah. And, uh, oh, run that up. Oh, oh no! That that was a little bit wispy. Yo, in the moment right there. shaking his head like, yeah. wi wispy, definitely on the side of uh, New York. And uh, and I, he played that stock so well up until that point. Like really, super patient, kept the vertical spacing. You know, but just percent. one mistake. Yeah, that's all it takes. Oh. Neutral coming back and all right, grabbing ledge. KD3 looking for a nice combo there, but not really getting it. But he was running in with the short hop nair there, just really exposed. Yeah, K uh, Horby is definitely chasing down KB KD3 like a lot, but also he has to worry about just not like getting punished. That be a kill. Uh, that's gonna be a kill. So Horby starting to bring it back. Yeah. Uh, now, one stock is better than uh, no stock. And uh, now he's playing a lot more defensively. But I, I think I, it's probably good for him. Right oh, definitely. And all right. Oh, nice for Ooh, That was a nice tech chase from uh, right. Corby, but... I would have liked to see a dare in that exact situation. Ooh, a little more a damage. A dare would have been nice. More tech chase opportunities. But... Oh, that was nice. Oh, boy. And that was and really nice. Air. And now... Okay, not totally bad options, no. but then also KD3 is just putting himself in a really nice position in comparison to not get punished, and so it's like, eh, what can you do? Ooh, just barely with a yeah, with that neutral air on shield. Oh my God, nice. the bait! That was so good from Orby. Now it's almost even. Yeah, it's now it's practically even. <laughs> Yeah, and on honestly, um, oh boy, that up air. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice it. trade for KD3 right there. All right, so where we can do this. Uh, ooh. Using that neutral layer to trade is, uh, that, that's just a really good option. Yeah. Like, I just, I didn't know it came out that fast, but... Corby uh, off again. Not looking now good for trouble. our hero. Not a lot of jumps left. Oh boy. And then. Oh, another maybe. one. Chance. Uh, oh my god. Shout out to KD3 for like, that <laughs> level of consistent edge guard. Yeah. Like, that's really good. And, uh. Let's see. KD3. Three stocks to one. Um. It's tough. Doable, but tough. It, it definitely tough. Um. Those footsies were, oh my god, and that oh no. it. that's it. Wow. Oh my god. Great showing by KD3. KD3 is like the reactions he can do and the combos he's done.